Hey everyone, RB Frank here. Let's see, I've had a few people ask me for a little more detail on how I weather protect the cab area for dust. And a couple key materials that I use is various sizes of this uh, plumbing insulation. Uh, this E6000 uh, adhesive, it's almost like a rubber glue. And Reflectix, you can see it there on the back panel. So, starting up here, I put a piece of uh, that foam in here because there is a channel that goes through here that can let dust come through. I taped off every hole that I could see there aren't a lot but there can be enough if there's dirt flying to be pushed right in there of course I've got the uh, soft cap and these windows I can unzip and bring down or keep them up <clears throat> Now the Reflectix insulation, both for heat and of course dust, because I cover the whole back area. And the pipe plumbing insulation I use around the window. I mean, I use a lot of black Gorilla Tape. Got Reflectix on the front firewall. I made a plastic panel here. Closes that area off somewhat. And a lot of tape and Reflectix and take a look at wherever there might be a light coming through get to it with some tape or RTV now what I did around the uh, floor pan and the roll bar cage is I put black sealant I put a rubber mat on the bottom like a welcome mat a long one that goes across the hole underneath the tunnel so it seals off all of the holes that are in that skid plate. And when I hose it down, there's some water that gathers, but there's enough uh, perforation in, in some of the corners where it'll drain out. Here I had to use Gorilla Tape to fashion a boot. Here I actually made a boot out of uh, some vinyl, cut the shape put Velcro so I can take that off if I want and between that side of the boot and this side here I've got foam polyurethane foam stuffed in there and taped so I get double coverage for any dust penetration And pipe, pipe, foam all the way around. I put pipe foam in the intake to the air box here. That cut down noise as well as uh, it didn't draw dirt in there. So Wherever there's an opening, Gorilla Tape. 
And for the most part, it stays pretty clean. Now what I've done to encourage better, cleaner airflow is I put in this ducting here, this AC ducting. It's a soft three inch diameter flex duct. And I fashioned in the air box two intakes. One for the carburetor or for the throttle body uh, fuel injection pathway and this one for the belt cooling uh, area in this box. And on the belt cooling portion I put in a uh, one of those bilge bolt, uh, blowers. It's a pretty high CFM and I just run that to push in cool, cooler and clean air through this side in this pickup. You can see that. It's the air conditioning intake. So that's where I get my air from for my air cleaner into the uh, fuel injection and into the uh, belt housing for cooling in that area. As you can see there's tape and the Gorilla Tape sticks pretty well. If I need to take any of this apart I can not a problem. If I need to put it together, I just put tape that holds. I got tape here for some rub strips for any of this that might interface with this uh, tire rack. I put me a receiver hitch. If I need to move that trailer around, I can. I put the door opening cord here rather than trying to reach through here to get to it there. But I did the same thing on this side. Got this boot tape with some of that foam. Not spray foam, just a, a block of foam. Soft foam. More tape more foam and it keeps the dust out. Now what I try to do is when I'm if, if I'm in a dusty area I'll have these fans on to give a a positive airflow out because there's no other intake other than through the uh, front flap here. But usually at that point clean air is coming in. So if dust does accumulate, let's say through the tunnel here, it will flow out through these fans running and with the windshield vents open, bringing in clean air. And this Reflectix is good for sealing all the little plastic uh, interface points. It uh, takes care of the heat and sound. And that tape holds up pretty good. That's about all I can say about this. It's almost like uh, I used to have a CJ7 with a soft enclosure. And it pretty much feels like that. I mean, it's. Uh, pretty well sealed off. I added another couple saddle tanks, one on each side. So I have two on each side. Got lots of room. No. 
rack, roof rack. <coughs> So that's pretty much how I went about cutting the dust down on the interior. Okay? Take care.